Welcome to the Skunk Juice Studio. Thanks for joining us today. We are on location at the lake. But I do not have four doggy leashes and it's pretty hot out there. So we're just going to stay put in the car with their and we're bringing you a book about something that goes into the air that we all do and it is called a chew how cool is this okay let's read a chew me and you let's rhyme hmm okay Ready? I asked my mom if I could have a pet, or even two. But every time I brought one home, my sister went a chew. At first, I tried an antelope and bobo lynx that flew. But when she tried to pet them both, my sister went, a chew! So next I got a fluffy cat and a dog named Kathmandu. But when she snuggled up with them, my sister went, a chew! I tried a feathered emu plus a ferret, goose, and hen. A ibis, a jackal, kangaroo, a leopard seal. But then my sister sneezed a bigger sneeze than she had ever sneezed before. I took my pets down to the zoo and went to look for more. A monkey and a nightingale, an owl that said, but sis let out a mighty well, and then she went, a chew. Oh my. The pig, a quail, the rooster who crowed a cockle doo doo doo, a skunk, and seven silly squirrels all made my sister go, what? Say it with me, a chew. My taken from the mountain slopes, who always like to chew. Oop. Umbrella birds and vulture wings cause one great big achoo. A warthog, weasel, and a wolf, a xantus, I named Jack, a laffle, and a zebra, too. I had to take them back. At last I had a great idea. Much better than before. I bought a bearded dragon from Mrs. Gray's pet store. He's got no feathers, fur, or hair, so we can hold him too. I still can visit my old pets down at the local zoo. And best of all, they never made my sister go a chew. The end. Isn't that fun? A chew. Thanks for joining us this week and we hope you have a great rest of your day, rest of your week, and what do we do? We sprinkle that kindness. So thank you again and we'll see you next time.